Uh, obviously, you could have a global JavaScript file with uh, all your plugin initialization uh, and other jQuery code. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to call this password.js. I'm then going to go ahead and include that as well. So password.js is going to be the file that we actually uh, initiate this plugin from. So as long as all of these are included in our page, we can go ahead and do that. So I've included a script type, obviously exactly the same thing, with this password.js file here. So now that we've got our plugin uh, available to use on our page and we've got our password.js file, we can go ahead and write our jQuery code in here to initialize this plugin. So assuming I don't know how to install this plugin, many authors will uh, give you some kind of indication of how to use this. So you'll see that we have on this page some information. Uh, we can see that all we need to do is create um, an input field with a type of password and supply an ID for this as well. So that's the first step that we're going to go ahead and uh, carry out. So input type equals password and we'll give this an ID of a password. So now that we've given this an ID we can use this as we normally would uh, other elements in jQuery or other elements in HTML to reference to this and we can use a selector to select this element and then apply the um, the plugin to it. So here you can see at its most basic form uh, you can you just literally need to select the element which will be a password and then you need to just call this show password here. So let's go ahead and do this now. Remember our ID is a password. So in here when we create our selector we want to choose a password and then the call for this plugin is show password. Now it's extremely important to note that jQuery, uh, obviously JavaScript as well, is case sensitive. So we want to ensure that we use a capital a small s and a capital P uh, exactly as stated here. And uh, earlier I said that this index.php will provide an, a demo as well. So if you go ahead and you're not too sure or the documentation is limited on the website, and they do include a demo file, uh, go ahead and open that demo file up and you'll be able to see all the relevant information there. So with regards to this now, this should be activated. So we haven't supplied any options to that, but we'll make uh, options to this, but we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So let's go over to our page and press refresh. You can now see that we've got our form field that we created earlier and we've got this show password checkbox here. So obviously to test it's working, we want to go ahead and enter a password and click show password uh, and it does appear to be working. So as well as that, uh, if we were to go over to the documentation as well, we can go ahead and look at some examples given. Uh, this is particularly well documenta uh, documented. Uh, we've got some uh, paragraphs here just giving you know a lot as much detail as possible. So you can see here we've got a few options that we can uh, give this. Uh, for example, text, and uh, that's you know sort of noted here that it would show the custom password text. So at the moment on our page, it just says show password. So for example, if we wanted to change this, uh, we just take a look at the notation on the website. Uh, so in here, we can um, specify particular options. So uh, with regards to this one, we would need to supply an element and then the options associated with that element. So in this case, checker, uh, we can change the text. So we need to supply checker, and then in brackets, we need to supply any options uh, that are available. So in here, we can go ahead and uh, the class checker contains the following options. We can supply text, so for example, reveal. And uh, now when we refresh this, uh, you can see that the text will, oh no, hold on. Let's see what we might have done wrong here. There we are. So checker, and then we've got a colon, and then in brackets, we've got the uh, options associated with this particular class. So now when we refresh, uh, it still hasn't worked. And that is because, sorry, not a colon, we've got a uh, comma, because remember, this is the uh, the element, and this is the op uh, these are the options. So finally, uh, no. Uh, so let's go ahead, I think I know what's wrong. I think uh, I haven't read this properly. Um, yeah, okay, so. Uh, I've misread it and uh, haven't done my research correctly, uh, but what we're actually going to do here is we are specifying an element that we want to inject um, the checkbox into. 
So let's go ahead and create a span just at the end of here. And I'll call this checkbox. So now in password.js, we can go ahead and say checkbox text reveal, and that should give us that option there. Okay, so uh, another probably point now to make is actually read the uh, text rather than just looking at the options. So now that we've done that, we have uh, supplied the checkbox uh, class, which I've assigned to this span just here, um, with the text reveal, and we've we've given the we've put the text box into this uh, span here, uh, and then just specified a particular option. So that covers just installing a, a very basic uh, jQuery plugin. Um, we've already spoken about why we use plugins, but things like this um, obviously are useful. Um, and uh, and a relatively small in file size. We saw in in our archive earlier that we've got a 1.7 KB file. So you're looking at something that's uh, you know quite quick to run. And uh, the benefit of this is we have a minified and compressed version as well.